This is a live fire demonstration with the Dura Fire Department to showcase the effectiveness of the DSPA dry spring and powder aerosol rapid intervention tool in a structured fire scenario. The crew has assembled a rather large A-class fuel load in this scenario to directly challenge the effectiveness of the powder. Directly above this burn area upstairs, we placed a book on the floor to simulate some contents and perishables that could be lost in the fire. For the dry nature and contents of the fuel load in this fire, it doesn't take long for the temperature inside the room to reach over a thousand degrees Fahrenheit. This is the time where we've chosen to deploy the DSPA into the room. As you can see in the fire, it's floor to ceiling. The pellets were about a foot away from the ceiling in this case. The decision has been made to employ the unit. It's been thrown across the back of the fire because of the way that the building is breathing. After a short delay with the igniter, you can hear the hissing and the powder going off. Oftentimes, the initial burst of powder going off is enough to quench the fire. From the second angle, you can see the powder circumvent the flames and snuff the fire out. The only concern we have now is to attack the seat because it is smoldering and it's hot and it's packed full of hay and cardboard and paper products inside there. The attack team is now going to go in and employ some short fog bursts of water in a swirling pattern to quench what is inside the house even though the flames have been knocked down. There Now as you can see, a lot of the fuel load is still remaining. The flames uh, did impinge on the ceiling and knock some of the tiles down. That was all partially due to overhaul as well. Normally when you enter a structure fire, you don't get to preserve the seat of the fire load like the DSP did in this case. The fireman has gone upstairs and verified that the book is not damaged and there is no water that has come through the ceiling or the floor of the second level of this house. The house is set to come down so we've let it come back to free burn. We've set up two identical fires in the left and right hand portion of the building. As you can clearly see there is no extension of the flames in the right hand portion of the building because the DSPA powder has buffered the internal structure of the fuel load. It's taken an extra 13 minutes to get the fire going in this room at this point.